What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to make a physics door. So, with our player collision, we can push the door with physics and it will open and then close with time. It's gonna be very easy to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. All right, so the first thing I have to do is go ahead and create a new blueprint. In this case, let's go into the content browser, right click, new blueprint class, and it will be an actor because we are gonna place it in a weld. Let's call this something that's just BP underscore physics um, door. And let's go ahead and open this blueprint up. Okay, so now what we need to do is add the door models itself. So in this case, let's go in to add a new component, static mesh, and let's begin by adding the door itself. Now, in my case, I am going to be using the um, uh, this door models, okay, which comes in the starter content, okay. So if you created the, the project and don't have this um, door models, that is because you didn't import the starter content. So what you can do is go into the add button here in the content browser, go into add feature or content pack content and import the started content okay and of course if not you can use use your own uh, door models but in my case for this example i'm going to be using this so let's select the door model which will be sm door okay we have it here great and then let's go ahead and add another static mesh uh, which will be the frame and of course make sure that they're not child of each other whatever they're separate just under uh, the scene root and for this model it's going to be the door frame and now we're gonna select the door and just move it a bit to the left, okay? And in this case, I think that if we put here 45, it will, there we go, align perfectly as you can see. So now we have those models in place. So the first thing that we have to do is enable uh, the simulation physics for our door, because of course it's gonna be moving. And for uh, you know an object that I'm real to have physics, we have to enable this checkbox to simulate the physics. But as you can see, it is disabled, and that's because this door model doesn't have a collision. So let's double click on the S and door to open the model up, go up into collision, and we can just simply generate a box simplified collision. This will just make a little box around the model, save and close, and now it has a simple collision that we can go ahead and um, go ahead and turn the simulate physics on. And now, of course, we can go ahead and have physics on that. Great, so now with our frame, we'll have to do select it, go down, and make sure that the collision presets are to no collision because we don't want our door with physics to be interfering with the collision of our you know, frame and door itself. So that's very important. And with that, that said, we have our door with physics. But of course, we need to be able to um, adjust the angular limits that this door can turn on someone right now if i were just to you know drag this in and we just fall so what we need to do is add a special component which is the physics constraint now i have already done a tutorial in the past about this um component and it's very useful so what i need to do is basically as you can see change a bit of the axis um angular limits that this door can go right now as you can see it is pretty much like a 360 sphere so it can kind of go in all directions and we don't want our door to be flying away so what i need to do is go down until we see the angular limits okay not the, the linear it will be the angular limits and first of all for the first swing we want to leave this on free but for the swing to motion we want to put this on locked as you can see that got rid of the vertical sphere and that's because well uh we don't want our um door to go into that direction and then the same with that twist motion locked because we don't want our door to move and we're gonna only leave the swing one motion because we want our door to rotate like that in the horizontal axis okay like a door would open that's why great now the thing is that if we leave this on free door would just kind of fly away so let's check this out but first let's go into the constraint open up the component and just plug in here door now this will be the attached component so you can see we are saying that this door will be attached to this physics constraint now very important the name has to be exactly the name of the component which is door so it has to be exactly the same uh written okay 
Now, if we compile, I drag this in. Now, very important, we need to add a bit of separation between our floor because they may collide. So let's go ahead and just put a like one on here, like even a bit less, 0.5, right? And it will be a bit elevated so that will not interfere. And now if I go, as you can see, door will rotate pretty much like those hotel <laughs> entrances, right? And that's because the pivot of this physics constraint is at the middle. So first of all, let's go ahead and change the uh, limit. As you can see, it was like turning in 360. So we can just put it in limited and I'll specify the angle. In this case, normally doors we can open up uh, like 90 degrees. Now, as you can see, this is in the wrong direction. We can open our door like this, but that's not what we want. So let's go ahead and go into the rotation tool and literally rotate this around minus 90 degrees. And now, yes, put it uh, to the left of the uh, door frame because, of course, we don't want that hotel entrance, right? We want a normal door. So now, yes, with that said, as you can see, when I press play, I can go into my door and it will open up with my collision. It looks super cool, but of course, it doesn't really go back to place. You can see it kind of goes back to place, but that's because of the physics. It goes and opens again. So let's make it that we'll return with a bit of force back to its original point. So for that, let's select the physics constraint and we can go down into this angular motor and we can change the mode to be twist and swing. Just enable swing and then we can leave the strength as default if it will work. And now you will see that indeed, okay, the door will return back to place, but it does make a whole little loop and then we just very slowly go back so we're gonna actually change this and let's select the door and what you can do is just change the angular damping okay we can increase this to around 15 and now because we changed the mass and angular damping and as you can see it will go back to place with better motion and there we go now it looks perfect and very important okay guys make sure that your door is a bit elevated from the ground because if it collides it will kind of you know because it's physical it will uh do friction with the ground and it will not close or open properly so that's very important all right guys that's it for this tutorial if you found it helpful i would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember that the private files are even available on my patreon YouTube members so check them out uh, check out my course of game Dev tv link in the description join my Discord server follow me on my socials and now yes well i said Bye.